everybody, it's Ziggo. Welcome back. Let's get into the playthrough, shall we? So we're about to go have a talk with Van Damme, and we're going to learn a bit about Nia's past, which will be really, really cool to learn. And I'm going totally the wrong direction here. Here we are. I knew that's where he was. I don't know why I walked up there. Oh, it's you guys. What got you out of bed so early? Nia? We could say the same thing to you, old man. Thanks for yesterday. You saved our skins. That guy, Akos, I mean. I wanted to tell you about him. You see... Thing is, we used to be... Being a mercenary, you meet all kinds of different folks. Huh? Your country, family, money. People got plenty of reasons to fight. Like fighting for a special girl. I see that a lot. Though not every girl has a strange crystal in her chest, eh? You, you mean Pyra? <laughs> we're, we're just... Nia. You're with these guys right now. That's what matters. But... Aren't you... Anyway, Rex. Weren't you saying you wanted to get to Elysium? Yeah. But we hit a snag. With a monster like that in the way, it's impossible. No guild ship's getting close to it without going down. Well, I've got an old mate in the Orion capital. Got a feeling he might know a way through. Really? Yeah. I've got to go there anyhow. So I could introduce you. Van Damme, thank you. Nah, it's destiny or something. Don't sweat it. Get your stuff Zero together Blade DE moment. and meet me by the village entrance. Destiny, 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 destiny. We can change our future. I believe was the exact line that was always used. Ah, uh, I gotta say, Xenoblade DE trumps. Xenoblade 2 when it comes to story, but Xenoblade 2, in my opinion, has, um... Yeah, so as I was saying against a second ago, Xenoblade DE, better story, Xenoblade 2, better gameplay. Just letting you know it's a good way to find some Mima from here. Plenty of monsters out there on the road. Make sure you got yourselves all knitted up before we head out. Let's do it. Time to head out. You, Zuo, take care of this place, yeah? Nay, what is? Leave it to us, boss. Boss, you're in a good mood somehow. <laughs> I guess so. Well, take care. Let's get moving. Oh, do we meet? Do we meet them this early? I don't remember it being this early. Like I knew we met them in Oriah, but I couldn't. I didn't remember it was this early. That's pretty awesome. I don't want to spoil who that uh, that is for those of you who um, don't know. We just have really suspenseful music. But like, oh, there we go. We're loading into a cutscene. That's what's up. Well, this doesn't. Oh, it's it's Jan. Jen's honestly kind of badass, though. Kind of real. Bad. Although he did just kill all of those people. Without a care in the world. That's a lot of core crystals. I think it goes from the super suspense to like 
Just super happy, peppy music. Oh, so this was the area of Uriah that I was saying was really, really cool looking. I love this area. Wow, well, Cobalt Cliffs. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna meet someone new right now. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. <laughs> Looks like all the chat about the Aegis was true. Who are you? That's a heavy burden you have there. Sure you're up to it, pipsqueak? See sense. Step aside and let the big boys take charge. Come on! Yield the merchandise! Huh? What? Van Damme. Do you know this guy? Never seen him in my life. Bah! <gasps> Wait. Are you... <laughs> uh... You really are a bunch of rinky dink bogus stupid no mark drivers, aren't you? I like the the, the added dance moves Behold in there. Behold the mighty Zeke von Gembu, bringer of chaos. <laughs> Mostly known as Zeke, and often addressed as the Zeke Zekeinator. Behold, it's kind of an edge lord. He's hilarious, but I love Goria. Zeke. He's a great blade. And Super this useful. Is my sword. The purple lightning dream smasher! If you want a taste, come and get it! I think I'm good, bro. We're good. Yup. Yup, good. Good? No! See you later. W wait! Ciao. Wait, you barbarians! Oh, this guy. I'm tired of him already. Gah. You think you low lives can lick the three of us? Three of you? I count two. Lost someone. Huh? Oh, get away right, right, right. this. So we gotta hold up just for a second. So some of you may have seen my episode, my videos in the past. I gotta think about turtles. So in ZWDE, DE, I uh, took down a lot of Tortagas. A lot. Like hundreds. For my uh, Xenoblade DE is too easy video card up top. And um, in Xenoblade X, I happened to do the same thing, although I didn't uh, film that, but it happened, and my friends who were on Discord at the time made a comment about it. This is the only turtle in Xenoblade 2, and it's the only turtle in Xenoblade 2 that I cannot defeat. And it is rather unfortunate. Back to the gutsy. Our beloved mascot, Tartas, reveal yourself! Huh? Tartas? 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 Where, where, where are you, boy? Tartas! Oh! Hello, little guy. How are you? What are you doing out here all alone? <laughs> Tartas! Handling a man's turtle. <laughs> Uh, I love Zeke. Grab Pyra there. Why did he go for his turtle instead? Ugh, what an you can't idiot. manhandle another dude's turtle. Uh, listen, whatever. She'll be mine soon enough. Got a problem with that? Then come at me and don't hold back. Nope, still what? good, bro. Is this guy for real? See you later. Zeke's ridiculous, but he's so great at the same time. Alright, Definitely easy. Zeke on his own though is a super great character. I don't remember what blades I even have bonded to him currently. Good try. Not bad. 
but, 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 but I don't think we get him in our party yet. down and get ready for my super ultra mega move. Oh, wait, wait, let's prepare ourselves, shall we? For your super duper whatever. You asked for it. Bringer of chaos. Ultimate lightning fury slash. Um. Now, some of you were probably expecting something pretty cool. Nope. Just Seek Whoa. being an idiot. What just happened? They. Bye bye. Idiot. Don't say that every day. <laughs> Come on. That's enough nonsense. Indeed. Ah, uh, Zeke is great. Nah, we'll stay. Stay. I didn't know if there was another cutscene, but we're walking. And it is a rather long walk. So, I think I'm going to speed this up, add some music, and I'll put a time code if you want to skip it. Congratulations. Let's make our way to the city, shall we? So this is... I mean, check this out. Uraya is just such a cool looking place. If they see it's them, absolutely they beautiful. One. Hey man, you're killing my like cool montage of everything looking nice, quiet, and serene. There we go. Back to our regularly scheduled, really chill, really quiet program. Okay, bring it on. Enjoy view for a bit. And once we actually get up in this next area we're gonna be coming up on we'll be um going up a really really long flight of stairs. I believe. Yes, it's a very long flight of stairs. But what we're about to get to, I'm really excited for, because we're gonna start learning a bit more about the history of blades and where blades came from. So that's super exciting. This is actually a really, really um, interesting part of the story here. Because um, we just get to learn the backsides of some of the characters and the world of Xenoblade. Because this was the first game that, actually it's the only Xenoblade game that introduces the blade system. Because um, Xenoblade Chronicles 1, we didn't have blades, we just had weapons. Um, Xenoblade DE, for example, we played that. Xenoblade X was all kind of on its own, um, because Xenoblade X, we had skells and all sorts of other crazy stuff, and then Xenoblade 2 is its own monster, um, 
and I honestly love the blade system. I hope they bring it back in the next game. Um, because there's so much variation you can have with it. Every single blade has different elemental typings, different arts that you can use, different weapons, and blending all of those things together changes so many things. Or certain characters have different affinity charts that you can use in battle that are also really cool. If you want a video on affinity charts, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a video on that. And this is a huge city. a lot of warships. He's right. These ships look different to normal ships. Yeah, we don't muck about with our titans much. No need for it. Ryan's like things pretty natural. I've seen your Ryan ships before, back in Argentum. It's like the total opposite of how the Ardanians use them. There could be one reason. They're always at each other's throats. They've been like cats and dogs for a long time. Well, from where I stand, the Adenians are worse. All that metal is just bad taste. It's easy to think that way, but you're not considering how the Titans themselves feel. Huh? Don't all those modifications hurt? When Titans live with humans, that's just the way it is. <sighs> I used to have a hot on my back and a cream. Stuck where the sun doesn't shine. I never complain, not even when Rex fired up a grill on my shoulders. Hey, he used to like that. Hmm. Well, yes, I did like that. In fact, I miss it. If I did that now, we'd end up with Roast Titan. Indeed. That might be kind of tasty, <laughs> though, Roast Titan. I don't know. What about you guys? I'm kind of vibing with some Roast Titan. Oh wait, no. I can stick around. We're not in a cutscene. Here's our... well, we got 50 or so meters, 70 meters, and then we'll be in Fonsamima. We'll get our first little introduction of Fonsamima and a new character, I believe, when we first walk in the gate. Possibly. What's that? It's a distribution center. The government tries to ration out what little resources they have. In practice, it's just first come, first served. Okay, that's the last one for today. <gasps> come on! I'm a soldier. Been busting my gut for this country. That should be going to me! Not the likes of you! Huh? Don't look at me like that. Respect your elders, you snot-nosed brat! Are you okay? What do you think you're doing? She's just a child. What? Dirtbag. Huh? Huh? Who the hell are you? Rex, this isn't our business. Leave it. <sighs> Being an adult isn't just about barking orders. Sometimes, you need to help someone weaker. Uh, shut your face! You don't Here we know go. what the hell you're talking about! We're always gonna go stick in our nose where we don't belong. Now it's my turn! Now it's my turn! Now it's my turn! Now it's my turn! Now it's my I can feel my you won't even get to use Flamble. He'll try to I guess I'll use now. Picked the wrong crowd to screw with, man. Who are you? Huh? The color of that crystal? You're 
Not good. He'll be bringing others before long. The rumors about Pyra must have traveled pretty far. Even grunts like him have heard him. Sorry. I guess I should have used the cloak. But who spread rumors? From what I hear, it's some fancy pants Nopon merchant. A Nopon merchant? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Van Dam. Huh? Oh, well, if it isn't my owner. You grew a fair bit. How's Grandpa Cole doing? Oh, that's ah. right. Not too good. So then. Cole was the character I was talking about. Who's we're this? going to meet. Huh? And he's oh, this he's is a really Iona. interesting guy. That old friend of mine takes care of her. Hi, Iona. Great to meet you. Come on, let's beat it before those soldiers show up. Make our way to the this way. Bonsamima is actually a really cool city, but it's kind of confusing to navigate sometimes. There's a bunch of little back alleyways and cool little different areas you can walk down. Keep on taking the stairs. There's a lot of stairs in this city. A lot of stairs. Mm. Oh, and here we come to Is the theater where we learn a whole of bunch of stuff. Yeah. I mean a whole it's bunch a theater, of stuff. theater, all right. The guy we're here it's for nuts. leads the troop here. Ah, actors, eh? And right now, they're in the middle of a show. Well, you want to take a quick peek? Absolutely. The heroic adventures of Adam. Might be interesting. <laughs> I've never been to the theater before. Adam. Neither has Tora. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll learn about nice Adam later. Quiet, though. Or we might learn about him now, Looks actually. Like it's pretty packed today. Okay. Pyra doesn't look too enthusiastic about learning about Adam. I wonder why. I'm gonna get out of the way for this, because I feel like this is important. I'll let you and know if I it's saw it at that time. That the powers of darkness had engulfed almost everything. People and titans alike were drawn into the official vortex. Yes, the this is important. Was Pay attention. Us. The end was nigh. But then, despite the wounds all over his body, the great Adam stood. Oh, Architect, grant me power! Power to banish the dark. Power to illuminate the world. Lo, loyal servant of the architect, the Aegis. O oh, Aegis, bless me with your power. Bring light upon the world. Thus hmm. they defeated the darkness. Hmm, foreshadowing? But at a terrible price. Three great continents sank beneath the sea of clouds forever. Servant of the architect, by thy power, the world is saved. For the gift you have granted us, we are eternally grateful. I shall spread thy legend far and wide. May your name live on for eternity.
Poor Pyra. We're gonna we're gonna learn a lot um, in these next couple of episodes about Pyra and the history of the Aegis and blades in general, really. Hey. Kind of awkward, right? What was awkward? I mean that play. It was about Dance. Pyra. Must have been kind of bizarre for her, eh? I don't know. I guess. Maybe you should go and make it right. Make it right? How? Oh. Idiot. Figure it out yourself. Huh? What am I supposed to? Every pro tag ever is dense. Uh, uh. So, the theatre. Wasn't it incredible? They had the cloth moving, just like real clouds. How do you think they did that? Huh? Uh, yeah. The clouds are pretty cool. Grant, they were so... Black him. Cloudy? Right in the head. Right in the head. Yeah. What do you <laughs> There's no need for that. I don't know what to say in a situation like this. Coming in, old now fella. Now meet Cole. Crikey! Still collecting the junk, are ya? Watch it, you bruiser. Don't make fun of a man's hobbies. Some greeting for your old comrade. Comrade? Yeah. I was a freelancer before the firm got going. Believe it or not, me and this old fella tore up a good few battlefields in our day. We sure did. And thanks to that bleeding heart of yours, we almost never got paid. <laughs> Says the guy in the theater troupe. You can't be raking in much dough either. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, friend? Cole, you're old, ain't ya? Old enough to know how you cross over to the World Tree. Get to Elysium, I mean. Elysium? But why? Why would you want to go there? That core crystal. You... You're... So the Aegis is back amongst us. Who is your driver? I am. You? But you're... so young. How about it, old man? Do you know the way or not? Hmm... I dare say, if you've trekked all the way here to ask me, you've already tried going yourselves. Yeah, but we couldn't make it. No wonder. No one can get to the tree while that thing's guarding the way there. It won't let anyone past. But a long time ago, there was a man who went up the tree. Met this the is very important. Too. Listen closely. There was. Really? Yeah. I'll wager anything. He's got an idea how to get there again. You should try asking him. Well, who was it? Uh, hmm. Please, tell us. I've got to get to Elysium, no matter the cost. Well, I can tell you. But first, I'd like to have a word with her, if I may. With the Aegis, I mean. With Pyra? Of course. Please, through here. Mr. Cole, right? You wrote that play, didn't you? I hope it didn't stir up any painful memories. No, some of them are... good memories. <laughs> you know, you're not very convincing. I'm sorry, I really am. I just wanted people to know about that time. Show people how we were back in those days. Really get it across to them. Will you be using it again? That power? I don't know yet. I just don't know if this world can take it a second time. 
I know that. I'd never use it if there was another way. This is what I hope for. But... That man's the only one who knows how to get to where you're going. Do you think you can make it to him? I just wanted to make sure. We can. I mean, it's my destiny. Yeah. That boy who's with you. His name's Rex. He's a good person. With a kind heart. Reminds me of a certain someone. <laughs> okay then. I'll help you out. Thank you, Minoth. Minoth? I'd almost forgotten that name. Now then, where did it get to? <coughs> Grandpa! Old man, you are okay? You know, an interesting character. We'll learn a lot more about I'm him fine. as the, um, I'll be the story fine progresses. <laughs> Seriously, <coughs> don't mind me. I don't know, man. Sounds now, like you're we dying. we better call it a day, old timer. <sighs> I'm sorry, fella. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but come back again tomorrow, will ya? There's something I want to give you. <laughs> come on. I know a place we can rest. Nice. Another inn. Oh, no. We're good. We're probably going to learn a whole bunch of stuff in this episode. So at the end of this episode, let me know down in the comments what you thought of what you've learned. Um, and those of you who are watching currently, I guess, don't read the comments if you don't want spoilers. Although the game's pretty old, so most of you have probably already seen it. Um, I guess I shouldn't call the game the old, though. Um, because it's not quite old yet. Where am I going? This way. I always get lost every time I go into this city. There's a big story behind that. Well, I'll be. It's just one blast from the past after another today. You probably guessed, but we're not here for a reunion. Just as well. The Aegis is gone already. How disappointing for you, comrade. <laughs> Still an asshole. Despite the years taking their toll, I'll wager all the doctors in this town are quacks and all the blades are blunt. Abrona and I, we could fix that stagnant ether flow with a minimum of bother. What do you say? You could still have a lot of good years ahead of you. I mean, I won't deny there'd be a certain quid pro quo involved, but old man, just think of the benefits. Come. Can't you lend us your expertise here? Do so, and you could live for a long, long time. You know, friend, I'm not as attached to my life as I used to be. Maybe I've had enough. Your little lost souls will be simply inconsolable. The kids? No. They're strong. This is becoming a farce. A horrendously cliched one at that. Break a leg. Huh. What's that? Hey, don't be shy. You heard everything we said, didn't you?
Bad news. Can you, can you really help, Grandpa? Why, of course. We can help. That is, if you can help us. Can you do that for your grandfather? Manipulative little... I don't like Agos. This is... You can't come here. <laughs> Charming. So you're making the rules now, huh? You didn't come here to talk about the old days, did you? <laughs> We've snatched Menoth's little brat. No. <laughs> Meet me at the place of your awakening. You remember it, right? <laughs> oh, and, uh... Come alone. Black. Just one bad thing after Hello. another. Xenoblade games kind of have a trend for it. It's all bad. It just all goes downhill as the game progresses. It usually works out in the end, though. Old man! What happened? Iona. She's gone. It must have been them. Who's them? After you went, Malos and some other guy paid me a visit. Malos was here. Who was the other guy? Didn't uh, catch his name, but he had red glasses. That's Akos. But what would he want with Iona? Wait, Nia, where's Pyra? She wasn't there when I woke up. What? No one's seen her. Pyra. Black. Maybe she realized what was going on with Iona. Well, knowing those two, it's not unthinkable. That girl, trying to save her on her own. Where's she gone? Didn't she leave a note? No, I'd have noticed. I know where. I think it could be Alethro Ruins. Alethro Ruins? It's where Adam led his army of resistance from. 500 years ago. It's the place where the Aegis woke up to. It must be that Malos is trying to lure her down We're there. We're learning so sure much about the Cole, game's history right to now. Meet off the is the, of the man. Stairway. The man. Van Dam. Hey, fella, take care of this old man for us. Yes. Let's move. If we go now, maybe we can catch up to her. We learned so many things from Minoth about the game and the game's history, and he's great. And I'm gonna swap Tora and Van Dam. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and record the next episode now because I'm willing to bet you don't want to be left on that cliffhanger and neither do I. I'll catch you in the next one.